Calvert Library. Thank you so much for joining me for an episode of It's Elementary. I'm so excited because today we are going to be making a gingerbread house together. Every December at Calvert Library we like to have a gingerbread workshop where you come in and we teach you how to make a house. But this year I'm going to teach you how to make a gingerbread house so you can do it yourself at home. We often get a lot of questions about how we make our icing that we use. So we're going to be going over that in this video today. It would be great if you grabbed a grown-up to watch in case they are interested in helping you make your house. So for our icing, it's pretty simple. It only uses three ingredients. The first ingredient is sugar. Confectioner sugar or powdered sugar, it's the same thing. That's what we'll, we'll be using. The second ingredient is water. Pretty simple. And the third is kind of interesting. It is called meringue powder. Now, meringue powder is used to make this specific type of icing. It's called royal icing. And we're using that because it hardens and it dries quickly. So perfect for constructing a house. Normally, royal icing uses kind of a weird ingredient. It's often made with egg whites. But eggs are not safe to eat raw, and some people are allergic to eggs, so that's why we use meringue powder. You can get this online, it's on Amazon. Um, I believe that Safeway carries it, or I got mine from Michael's, the craft store. So we'll be using those three ingredients today. We'll need some measuring cups for that. And we'll also be using a stand mixer. Now if you don't have a stand mixer at home, that's okay. You can use a hand mixer. Your arm just might get a little bit sore and it might take a little bit longer. Um, or if you're really in a pinch, you could just use a bowl and spoon. But again, your arm would get sore and it would take, take a bit longer. So whatever you have at home, that will work, uh, whatever works best for you. So let's get started with making our icing. Okay, so for our icing recipe, we're going to start with two cups of powdered sugar. And this will make about a cup and a half of icing, which will be great for a house or two and maybe a little bit to taste. So I'm gonna add it to our bowl. There's one cup. I'm leveling it off with a knife, so I make sure to get one cup. All right, there's two cups, perfect. And then I'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of water. And this is a half a tablespoon uh, measuring tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out. So let's see, there's half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half. Okay. Knock the camera there, and then we are going to add our meringue powder. And for our meringue powder, we're using one and a half tablespoons. So I'm drying it off there. All right, I'm gonna measure that out. There's about half. And one. That smells good, and one and a half. Okay, so now I'm going to turn on my mixer and mix it, the recipe calls for between seven and 10 minutes with a stand mixer, or 10 to 12 minutes with a hand mixer. So once it starts to form peaks, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, so I had my mixer going for closer to 20 minutes on a medium speed, and um, it is uh, fairly stiff, if you can see. When I pick it up, it um, kind of sticks to the spatula, and that's what we want. We don't want it to be runny or really thin. Uh, it's pretty thick. And that's exactly what we want. So we should let this rest for about 15 minutes to get out any air bubbles. 
I'll also note that if you save this, you definitely should put a wet cloth or a wet paper towel over the top so that it doesn't dry out because it, it will harden and it would get ruined and we don't want that to happen. So just keep that in mind. So here I have our graham crackers. This is what we're going to be building the house out of. If you'd like to bake some gingerbread cookies with your grown-up to use, by all means do that. I'll just be using graham crackers today. And we're going to be using a base to build the house on, just for stability. Um, so I'm using this empty, unused milk carton. Um, but you can use anything, uh, a milk carton or orange juice container, uh, even a can like a can of soup, anything that you can build around. You also don't need a base. You can just hold the pieces together until they dry. Um, but this is what we'll be using today. So I have four halves of a graham cracker. I just broke them along the line. And then we're gonna have these two tall pieces. So here's one I already cut and this one, I'm gonna cut these um, diagonal lines in as well. It might break, but that's okay if it does. We can even use our icing to glue the pieces back together if it does break. Oh, we got lucky there. Okay, so we have all our pieces. And now is the fun part. We get to actually construct the house and decorate it. Okay, I have all my supplies with me. I have my graham crackers. I have my icing. It's been sitting... Um, for a little while covered with a wet paper towel so it's still soft. I have my plates that I'm going to be building my house on and I have some things to decorate with. So I have some leftover Halloween candy, um, I have some craisins, some pretzels, some nuts, some marshmallows and candy canes so you can get creative with how you want to decorate. Then I'm going to put some icing using a spoon into a sandwich bag and then I'm going to cut off just the tip of this corner here so I can squeeze the icing out of. You can do that or you can just apply the icing with um, a knife or a popsicle stick or something like that so you can get creative and build your house. I'll show you mine. definitely looks good enough to eat. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have some fun building your own gingerbread house at home. And if you do, please comment a picture of your house in the comments on this video. Keep an eye on Calvert Library's social media for more fun activities for you to do at home. Goodbye!